Hello, I'm Brent Meekham. I'm uh, recently retired from the Irrigation Association as the Industry Development Director. And I'm here today with you at the Irrigation Innovation Consortium on the campus of Colorado State University and their uh, offices and research and uh, lab area that we have. And uh, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, around landscape irrigation and it has to do with flow measurement and flow management and what is the difference and how is that incorporated into landscape irrigation. So behind me are a variety of uh, different flow sensors that are used in the landscape irrigation industry. And uh, we created a testing protocol through the Smart Water Application Technologies Initiative of the Irrigation Association. And so I had the opportunity to try and test the testing protocol to find out what things worked well and what things might be improved as it goes forward to be maybe become a standard for landscape irrigation products. This is an example of one of the flow sensors that we were testing that is utilized in the marketplace. It uses a, a kind of an interesting technology in that it narrows down the stream of water as it goes through the sensor. So it's capable of measuring very low flows, which is really important, especially for drip irrigation systems in them that are utilized in the landscape. And uh, all of the manufacturers that uh, we have up here actually help participate in the creation of the flow sensor testing protocol. And so uh, we're not endorsing anybody's product, but we do endorse the idea that flow management is an essential part of doing great uh, water management in, in the landscape ir irrigation and use of water. This is a Campbell Scientific data logger, which we're able to wire in with the prop <laughs> appropriate resistors so they can detect the uh, flow sensor and we can take the reading and read out on a computer screen and compare it to what is going on with the mag meters, which are our uh, base meter or our master meter for determining the flow. We do have a uh, pump station that we have used and it's a variable frequency drive pump that allows us to have various flow rates going through the sensors but at a consistent pressure. And that is typically how these flow sensors have to work in the urban landscape where you have pretty much a constant pressure but you get various flow rates. So those who are not totally familiar with the, how a landscape irrigation system may work, there could maybe be 20, 30 zones, and each zone has a unique flow rate. And that's why this flow management is having a flow sensor can learn what the typical flow rate of every, each individual zone is as it integrates with the controller. And that's when the controller can say, oh, well, zone 10 flow rates should be about 30 gallons a minute, but it's currently flowing at 40 gallons a minute, there's something wrong. And so depending on the controller, it can make a management decision to either turn off that zone or at least notify the water manager that there's a problem so that somebody can go out and take a look. So over here, we just have uh, these different styles of flow sensors. Some of the things that they all have in common is they tend to have a minimum of 10 pipe diameters upstream and a minimum of five diameters downstream to make sure that the flow or the stream of water is moving smoothly through the sensor. They do have different technologies. Many of them that have been in the ir irrigation industry use an impeller or a propeller type uh, flow sensor. Um, but we also have some that new technology using electronics or a vortex type sensor. Uh, so the testing protocol that we created was agnostic towards the type of technology. What we really wanted to validate was whatever the manufacturers claim the capability of their flow sensor would be. And this has been actually very useful because currently there are no testing standards for flow sensors in the irrigation industry. Now what is the difference between a flow sensor and a flow meter? And those two terms get interchanged and used differently, but a flow sensor is actually detecting flow and typically it's about flow that is abnormal, meaning that there's flow occurring when there shouldn't be, or it's a higher flow than what it has learned should be the typical flow. And so with a flow sensor and flow management, when things are abnormal, in, it can notify the flow or the uh, irrigation manager that something's not right. 
Now, a flow meter, on the other hand, is actually trying to measure a quantity of water and do it quite reliably. And so, for a number of years now, the flow sensors have been in the industry, but others outside of the industry have tried to make them into flow meters. And, and most of the manufacturers are not claiming to be a flow meter, but they do measure flow. And I think the challenge being is most of the time when it's integrated with the appropriate type of controller, or it has its own remote readout, it can do totalizing and it can give you a flow rate in gallons per minute, but it's, they are not necessarily sold as a flow meter. And so that's kind of the difference and it's a subtlety that's kind of unique maybe in the landscape irrigation world is that we're measuring flow and trying to detect it and that's different than actually measuring a quantity of water. So that's uh, kind of what we've been doing with testing the flow sensors for landscape irrigation. The intent is to try and create a testing protocol and standard that could be used in the industry.